if you haven't noticed, I have a new do for this new month. Um, so that's why I don't have the hair from my previous videos. So book number one in September, I took from the library. So we're going to throw up a photo of it. Um, and that is the graphic novel Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. Nimona is about a girl named Nimona who becomes the sidekick to this super villain named Ballister Blackheart. Um, Nimona is a shapeshifter. There's a lot to the story. I, that's pretty much all I knew going into it. And I think it's nice to know very little going in. Um, the story has fantasy and adventure, but there's also a lot of emotion to it and a lot of great humor. So if you're looking for a really well done graphic novel that is illustrated beautifully and has just a little bit of everything, I would highly recommend Nimona. Book number two was Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. It is about an 18 year old girl named Madeline who has a very rare disease that makes her allergic to almost everything. Um, so her world is her house. Just her and her mom. She also has a nurse that comes in. And then people move in next door. A family moves in and they have a teenage boy named Ollie. And Ollie and Madeline strike up a friendship via email. There's doodles and the IMs and emails that really make reading this book fast and easy. But, and I think a lot of people will agree with me on this, this is a complicated disease and a very complex situation. And I feel like so much was left out, um, like that the book could have used like 10 to 20 pages to flesh out the story, not necessarily focus on Madeline's disease, but on everything. Book number three was This One Summer, which was written and illustrated by two cousins, um, Jillian and Mariko Tamaki. It's about a 13 year old girl named Rose who is going to the beach house that she goes to every year with her parents. Um, and this particular summer is, I guess, a little different because now she's a teenager. Um, her parents have been fighting. I just never felt fully engaged with the story. It was very anticlimactic. Um, and I feel like so much was left unresolved or unexplained or never really had a purpose in the first place. Okay, next up, I read these on my Kindle, was the Dark Elements trilogy by Jennifer L. Armantrout. This trilogy consists of White Hot Kiss, Stone Cold Touch, and Every Last Breath. Um, Layla is our main character. She's 17 and she is half demon and half warden. In this world, demons come from hell to wreak havoc on the planet Earth. And there are these heaven sent creatures or fallen angels um, called wardens, which are very similar to gargoyles that protect the world from these demons. So it's weird that Layla is both. And so the trilogy really explores um, where Layla came from, how much power she may or may not have, and why people seem to be so interested in her. It definitely had a huge cheese factor, like there's paranormal situations and supernatural characters and powers and a love triangle, of course. Um, and it kind of is just one of those things that I read and I don't regret reading, but that just kind of gets swept under the rug after a while. The next book I read was Drama by Raina Telgemeier. The reason I wanted to read Drama is because if you don't know, September 27th through October 3rd was Banned Books Week. This book made it to the top 10 list of frequently challenged books. It was number 10, but that means it had been challenged enough to make it to this list. I really needed to know why this middle grade graphic novel was challenged so much. The story itself is about a seventh grade girl named Callie. She is big into musicals and plays, so she is a part of the drama club, which is where the name of the book comes in, although it does also focus on that seventh and eighth grade drama as well so there's a double meaning there the, the main reason they said was sexually explicit there is no sex in the book there was this one scene where people were hidden behind like a, a, a rack of clothes and i thought this is it this is the one and i mean they're standing they're fully clothed they're just kissing people see them it's nothing happens it's to me innocent and also very reminiscent of things that happened when I was in junior high. Last month, Mindy Kaling's new book, Why Not Me, came out and I adore this. If you watch 
the Mindy Project or you've watched The Office, you know Mindy Kaling has that very distinctive voice and oh my god, like I could hear it while I was reading. I could just hear her saying these things. I kind of wish I had the audiobook to go with this. Um, it's a very short book. I was giggling and laughing. I just thought it was so delightful. And this is more about what Mindy is going through now. You know, she created her own television show. She's a little bit more famous than she was. So she's discussing the things that we would want to know now. We adored it. It is such a quick read. If you love Mindy Kaling, WTF are you doing? Get this book. It is so great. So the next book I read was Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda uh, by Becky Albertalli. And this was such a fun read. Um, I think of it as an LGBT answer to like a Stephanie Perkins book. This is the cute way contemporary that we need in the world today. Um, it is about a boy named Simon who is 16 and is gay. No one knows about this yet. He hasn't told his family, he hasn't told his friends, and he's not worried about telling them. He's not afraid that he's going to be kicked out of his house. He's not afraid that people are going to hate him. Simon ends up having email correspondence with an anonymous boy at his school. They met through this school Tumblr. Um, and so they talk about the fact that they are gay when they realized it and things like that and really confide in each other. And it's funny and it's cute. And they're obviously falling for each other despite the fact that they don't know who the other person is. And I just love that. It's like that classic rom-com situation. Simon was so funny. I did laugh at this book. I loved his friendships. Um, I loved his family. And I just loved the way everything unfolded. I just thought it was such a great book. Another graphic novel that I read last month was Blankets by Craig Thompson. It is as emotionally heavy as it is physically heavy. Um, this is about, actually about Craig Thompson. The story is based on actual events and it really goes through Craig's life as a kid and as a teenager um, and how he was raised in a town and by a family who are extremely Christian. If you were raised um, in a religious household, I was, you were kind of always taught that this is a sin and that is a sin and you cannot do this and you should not do this and you're guilty, you're guilty all the time. And that's really what this explored to me. And it's beautiful. The illustrations are gorgeous. I'm going to put it down because it's heavy. Growing up and going through puberty is a really hard time when you're also religious, but he kind of struggles with it because he's a human who is going to sin. And so it's really hard for him to understand that. I just was crying. I, I felt so emotional about young Craig and how I, I was like, I know how you feel. Um, it's just a beautiful book. Uh, the cover itself is very cutesy. I wasn't sure what it was about. So the religious aspect definitely caught me by surprise, but I just think it's a beautiful book. And then finally, the last book I read was via my Kindle and it was Restless Waters, which is the sequel to Left Drowning, which I read in August. What's great about this one was it was still told from Blythe's perspective. If you remember me talking about Left Drowning last month, um, Blythe was our main character and she becomes involved in this family, uh, The Shepherds. I loved this. It was about 250 pages, so it was a quick and easy read. And I didn't realize how much I missed The Shepherds and it was exactly what I expected it to be. And uh, I really adored it. And those are all the books I read in September. I think it was 11 in total. If you're looking for more involved reviews on these books, check out my Goodreads page. I'm gonna put a link below because sometimes it's easier for me to write a little bit more than to just talk about it like this. And I also don't want the videos to be a thousand years long. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Like this video, leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time.